Once you've created a PowerPoint presentation, it's pretty simple to convert it into a movie using a Mac. The first thing that we have to make sure we've done is complete our PowerPoint presentation and everything is in its place. We also need to add audio. When you create a traditional PowerPoint presentation and add audio, you do it right through PowerPoint. However, we're going to do it as we convert the movie instead. Now the first thing you have to remember is that you already have to have recorded your audio using Audacity and saved the MP3 file somewhere where you can find it. You'll notice here I've saved mine to my desktop right over here and it's got this nice Audacity icon which means it's going to be really easy for us to add as a background soundtrack to our movie. Now I've timed my slides already so that I know when the next slide is going to advance in my movie. All I have to do is convert the movie and add the soundtrack. So we're in PowerPoint. My project is finished. I select the file option and then I select make movie. From here I'll name my movie and it will have a .mov extension on the end of it. You'll select the place you want to save the movie. I'll select my desktop so it's easy to find. And then I'm going to click on this movie options button. You have to do this before you convert the movie. This is where we're going to add the music. This box is going to pop up. And we'll notice under media settings, this is what we're really uh, interested in. Slide transitions, follow slideshow settings. That means I've already predetermined how many seconds or minutes I want a slide to appear before it advances to the next one. So I'm going to keep that option. Background soundtrack. This is where we're going to add our audio here. Right now it says none. But if we click on the drop down, we're going to select the select soundtrack option. A new window is going to pop up where we can search our computer for the audio we created in Audacity. Mine is the first one on the list here, 08 Imperials. I'm going to select that, and you'll see it says it's an Audacity MP3, which means it'll work, and then click Open. Now we can loop the movie, or we can show movie player controls. I'm just going to leave it as it is, and then click OK. It's going to prompt us back to the save as window we had below before and then we're just going to click save. Now you'll notice here that PowerPoint is saving the whaling movie. It's as simple as that. So now if we quit out of PowerPoint, I'm going to make sure I save my PowerPoint presentation. You'll notice here's my movie. If we open it up, you'll see it's a movie and my music is in the background. It's as simple as that.